Greetings, brothers and sisters. May the peace, the joy, and the grace of the resurrected Christ be with all of us. Our meditation for today continues the conversation that Jesus had with his disciples in the Gospel of John, chapter 21, verses 17 to 19. And I read it for all of us. Jesus spoke to Peter a third time. He asked, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt bad because Jesus asked him for the third time, do you love me? He answered, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. What I am about to tell you is true. When you were younger, you dressed yourself. You went wherever you wanted to go. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands. Someone else will dress you. Someone else will lead you where you do not want to go. Jesus said this to point out how Peter would die. His death would bring glory to God. Then Jesus said to him, follow me. This is the word of God. For the third time, Jesus asked the same question to Peter. Do you love me? And Peter feeling bad because it seems that Jesus didn't understand or he needed more confirmation or didn't believe him. Tells him passionately, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. And for the third time, Jesus answers, then feed my sheep. Could Peter remember at that moment? I think so. I think he remembered that three times he had denied Jesus. And now Jesus gave him the opportunity to publicly declare that, yes, he loved Jesus. He is his disciples. He loved Jesus with all his life, with all his heart. We know that his denial hurt Peter deeply. The Bible tells us that when he denied Jesus for the third time, the rooster crowed for the second time. And at that moment, the Lord turned and looked at Peter. And it was then that Jesus remembered that Jesus had told him. Jesus had told him before the rooster crows for the second time, you will have denied me three times, Peter. And then he went out and wept bitterly. He wept bitterly that pain of having done something that he couldn't erase. We know that pain. So many times we also cry bitterly because we have done something wrong. We have sinned against somebody and we cannot erase that. That we cannot turn back time to make it different. But Jesus, who loves us, who knows our hearts, who knows our needs to be free of that sin, of that, of that hurt, gave Peter the opportunity and gave us the opportunity all the time to rectify it. He forgive us to know that we are forgiven and to move forward with a new vision, a new task that he has left in our hands. Jesus delivered Peter from his sorrow by calling him to know him and giving him the great mission of caring for his sheep. Jesus told Peter how he would die. But the important thing to remember is that he forgave Peter. He freed Peter of the past and gave him the mission to take care of his people. That's the mission that Jesus gave us. That's what Jesus does when we cry bitterly for something that we have done. He says, you are free. I, you have been forgiven because I forgive you. I made you free. I give you new life. And I want you to follow me, to be my partner in the mission to love one another, to take care of my people. Thank you, Lord, for your call to follow you. Thank you for the opportunity you give us to free ourselves from yesterday's sin with the victory of your forgiveness and the new life that only you can give us when we open our hearts so, so to you and let you to be our loving King, Savior, and Lord. 
Help us, Lord, to continue to fulfill the task you have left in our hands, to love your people, to take care of one another, to be your disciples. In your name, in your precious name, Amen.